the men's 800 meters T34 final. This was not contested in London 2012. There was a tight schedule that they had to maintain. Walid Taylor of Tunisia has won the one and the two here, and he won the one and the two in London. This would be, I would argue, a, a really unique treble. So the men who want to stop it. In one for Canada, Austin Speak. Personal best this year of 157. Lane two from the United Arab Emirates, Mohammed Mamadi. Lane three for Finland, Henry Mamadi. Lane four for Australia, the 16 year old Reid McCracken of Australia. Already a champion, 100 and 200 from Tunisia, Walid Katila. Lane six from Switzerland, Bojan Mitic. Many from the old Yugoslavia fled there in the 1990s when things were not going well. Austin Pruitt is in lane seven for the United States. And Jamie Carter of Great Britain is on the outside in lane eight. New personal best this year of 156. It's the second slowest in the field, but he has a chance. Reed McCracken set the world record in Brisbane March last year. But we didn't see this at the Paralympic Games last year. Men's 800 meters, T34 final. So it's Smink in one, Hamadi in two, Manny in three, McCracken four, Katila five, Mitic six, Pruitt in seven, and Carter in lane eight. And Katila goes out ahead of the rest. Mitic is trying to keep pace, and Carter as well. But this has been a very solid start. They will bunch up on the near side. Smink trying to get position for Canada here, and the Swiss, Mitic, Firing out ahead of Katila, but now things will settle down. Spink of Canada in a decent position. McCracken has moved across from Australia alongside in this 800 meters final. And it may just be a case very early on of easing up. But certainly, Katila and Mitis both thought they had a really good chance of firing away ahead of the rest of the field, but things have calmed down a lot now as they're on the final straight for the second last time and it's being led out by Austin Smeek. The Australian alongside is Reid McCracken. Katila's already pounced to win the 100 and the 200. He's going now in the outside. Did the same sprint double in London. Well, let's see how he is in the longer distance over 800. Personal best is 145. Season's best is 148. And now here he goes on the outside. And he's pounced. And does he stay out there, Katila? Bit of a movement coming from Hamadi of the United Arab Emirates as well. And McCracken of Australia remaining out in front. And it's those three now who really look as if the medals will be divided between the Mitic of Switzerland. Looks like he's too far back. And it's a great break at the front by Katila. It's Katila against Hamadi. Katila's going to win it. It'll be in trouble. 100, 200, 800. Not many do that. How many second? And McCracken third for Australia. Manny was fourth for Finland. Well, it was a good tactic in the end that earned the victory for the sprinter, Walid Katila. He's got the victory. 151.25 the winning time. And it was a good sprint out. He was in lane three. Could have tried to protect his line a bit more, but he was too fast for Hamadi, and that was more important than anything else. McCracken third, Manny four, Pruitt five. So Mitic did a lot of the work there. Smeek leading them round as well for a while. McCracken keeping up, and just for a while, I thought that Hamadi might uh, have a go there, but Katila coming round 
to take that very, very comfortably indeed. He moved with round about uh, 300 metres to go. And Hamadi, just for a while, between 300 and 200, looked like he might make a challenge, but Katila was in no mood for losing and a very interesting treble for him. So Wale Katila wins another gold for Tunisia as their excellent week just continues more and more. Hamadi second for the United Arab Emirates and McCracken third for Australia. Got a women's 100 metres T53 final for you coming up shortly. Just as these guys 